party at? Nice. How you doing? My name is Othman. Good to meet you, bro. How you doing, bro? So what questions? Ask away. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's legit. No? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about Islam, and then you can ask me what you think. All right? So very quickly, you know, we believe there's only one creator. Right? There's nobody else that should be worshipped except that one creator that created us, that gave us purpose. And the purpose of our life is to recognize that creator and worship him. Sure. Right? And to live as good human beings by the laws that that creator sent. We believe that creator sent us prophets, like the prophet Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them. We believe all of them were good. We believe all of them brought the same message to worship none but one creator. Don't worship idols, don't worship monkeys or people or saints. Just worship that one that created a hey, one God. There you go. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's... Makes sense? Mean, yeah, so the creator, there's only usually one creator. Someone Has to be, right? Someone creates a car, that's the creator. That made there you go. Car. Makes sense. And that creator would know best how that car should function, right? Exactly. So that our creator wouldn't leave us without instructions, right? Like when you get a car, you get a user manual, right? Yeah. So why do we have a user manual? Because that designer, that manufacturer knows that you need to know how to function the car. Of course. Right? So our creator being more intelligent than that obviously wouldn't leave us without guidance, right? Mm -hmm. Makes well, sense? I, I would assume so. Would... You're good, you good, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. So now, when you get to who that creator is, when we look at the message of all the prophets, like Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, they all said to worship one God, right? right. Look at the Ten Commandments, right? Hear, O Israel, your Lord is one. And then second, don't worship idols, right? I don't know, yeah. I yeah, that's the second command. So. Yeah, yeah, you can look it up, no problem, right? <laughs> so in the, in the message of Moses, of Abraham, of Jesus, of Muhammad, peace be upon them, it's all one message to worship one creator. Don't worship idols, don't worship people, right? Doesn't that make sense though? Yeah. Like if one creator created us and I go and worship that tree that had nothing to do with creating me, isn't that wrong? So like, um, like Jesus was on the planet. Yeah, we believe Jesus was a prophet. We believe he, was, he had a miraculous birth. We love Jesus. We love Mary. We respect them. But we don't worship them. Right. Was there, so, like, what's the God then? If, like, did, 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 the, did, like, a God from Islam come down to earth? And, like, no, 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 no. We, we, we don't believe God came to earth at the form of Jesus. We believe Jesus was a prophet of God. Prophet. Right? Like even if you look in the Bible, even with all the corruptions and changes, you'll still see verses where Jesus is called the prophet, right? Where the people are discussing who is this man, they said, is he the prophet, right? Did he die so, and come back though? We don't believe he died. We believe he was taken up by Allah and he will come back, right? But we don't believe he was crucified. This is more fiction. No. Oh, it's crucifixion, exactly. not a crucifixion. Anyway. Uh, so here, what happened is people started worshiping the prophet. Right? right? So he brought a message. He prayed. Jesus prayed with his head to the ground. He prayed to the Creator, right? He said, Oh Father, right? He was praying to Allah. Exactly, right? But people, they over exaggerated about him and they started to worship him. Not what he told them to do. He told them to worship the one Creator, right? I mean, if he, yeah. If you're, what you're saying is correct about right. him not dying and coming back, right. then, then you have a point. But if he did Good. die, right, right. he did come back, right. that's the point where I'm like, is, did, did he something right. with God? I mean, but the thing is, first thing, if you look at historically, all the, all the accounts of his death, there's no first-hand reports, right? These are all reports that, are, yeah, well, I'm just letting you know, right? I, mean, have to I got you, time I got you. I can't trust any, Look, any information. I feel you, right? In Islam, the information I present, I can tell you who is the first-hand reporter, who is the one that saw the event, and who did he tell it to, and who did he tell it to, when was it written? We don't have that with the Bible, right? That's why you have a lot of contradictions in the Bible. You want me to show you some, or are you good? No, no. All right, you good. I believe... So when you have an event, when they're like, Simon carried the cross, there's another verse, they're like, no, no, Jesus carried the cross. And one of them is talking about the Passover and the next day and the day before. When they talk about these things that contradict, that means we don't have actual factual information, right? Even if you look at the Gospel of Barnabas, which is not in the current Bible today, that even has a different opinion that Judas is the one that was put on the cross, right? And I'm not saying that's correct, but what I'm saying is we don't have sure knowledge here. But we have the Quran that was revealed to the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Now imagine a man who doesn't read or write a language, right? Like for example, if I'm illiterate, I can't read or write. Can I bring a book that is so eloquently written that the best poet and professors of the language couldn't match it? Yeah, ChatGPT. 
right? Yeah, if you have AI, but if you don't have computers. Before AI, 14 and a half centuries. Right, right. But what I'm saying is... a chess match at the computer. You can be almost as good, but not... Exactly. So if you can, without any AI, without a computer, without being able to read or write, if you can bring a book like that, then definitely that's miraculous, right? I wouldn't say miraculous. I'd say it's a good writer. Okay. But he can't read or write. So how can he be a good writer if he can't read or write? I guess that doesn't make sense. If he exactly. Can't, he can't write, but he wrote an eloquent Ex book. Exactly. So what does that mean? That he cannot read and write, but a book was revealed to him by the Creator. Right? Well, Let me ask you. Book, the, 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 Allah revealed the book, and the people around him, when he recited it, they wrote it down. So you right? just gave me the answer. No, no, but they're not the, they're not the authors. They're the scribes. Right? Yes. It's a different. Like, if you tell me, and I write something down, that's not my work. But you're inspired by it. I'm the one just writing it down. But you're inspired right? by it. Sure. If you change the word somewhat. Excellent. The Sahaba were inspired, but they wrote it down exactly. Why? Because all the writings have no differences. I can show you. Let me give you an example, right? I can recite a verse from the Quran from memory, and I can ask him to recite it from memory, and you can see if there's any differences. We memorize the whole thing, right? Word by word, letter by letter. So there's no but if, differences. But if you told him, mm -hmm. he told him, and he told three other people, I bet you it would change. I bet it wouldn't. Because for 14 and a half centuries, we've been memorizing the Quran letter by letter, and nowhere in the entire Muslim world has it changed. But isn't there interpretations to every single word? Look, the, the text is preserved. If you want to misunderstand it, that's up to you. Not misunderstand. Right, but no, no. So, so how the text should be interpreted is explained by the Quran itself. So like a it's explained. Manager. Yeah, of course. But then, then again, if you want to misuse it, like let's say you want to, for your own political agenda, misuse it, that's up to you. But the book itself, the Quran, word by word, letter by letter, preserved. Right? But well, let me ask you something else. If I tell you go out and split the moon tonight, could you do it? I think I could. Split the moon, bring it together? I think I really? could. I'd have to believe in it. Big time. All right. God, you know? All right. But then God would do it, not you. Not me. Okay. Yeah. So that would mean it would be a miracle from God because God would do it. So when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went out, and I can give you the historic reports from it. If I ask for it, I shall receive. All right. So there you go. If you shall receive, if you believe, who's the one giving it to you? God. There you go. So when the, the one who asked, the Prophet Muhammad, when he got that miracle, that means that miracle was from God, right? So then we know that this is a true Prophet. He asked and Allah gave it to him, right? Which, which Prophet? The Prophet Muhammad. What, what did he ask for? For the moon to be split and brought back together. Oh, he actually really split it. Actually did, yeah. I feel like I can do that stuff when I'm on psychedelic mushrooms. Well, then you might be imagining it, but it's not actually happening, right? Well, some people do get very religious, though, connected to Sure, but, but if you're on psychedelics, you may imagine something, but everybody around yeah. you doesn't see the same thing, right? Of course. But the Prophet Muhammad, when he split the moon, Everyone everybody saw it. Saw it. Even the enemies, they said, yeah, we saw it. Where, where, uh, how did they log that? I'll give you a video that I have. I made that gives you all the, if you put Uthman ibn Farooq moon splitting, it gives you all the evidences, it gives you all the book scan, it gives you the historic reports from other than Arabia, all of I that. Go to YouTube and just put yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you on your phone, no problem. I have a low battery right now. Alright. So there's our channel, One Message Foundation. You don't want to check out the moon thing. I'm yeah, yeah, so put Uthman, my name is Uthman sure. ibn Farooq moon splitting. Here, I'll write it for you. It's not on this? Uh, that's just the channel. Oh. Have a pen. Ahmed Mus Munster. Uthman, Uthman, not Ahmed. U T H M A N. Oh, like a yacht, U T A. U T H M A N. Uthman. U T H. Like Utah. It's okay. Uh, let me write it for you. That way you can. 